Yo, it's main man, Cal Breezy. Another little quick video. I feel like these are a little more fun and more effective than setting up the old camera. There the banner is, so you know it's Wrestling Rants 901. Main man, Cal Breezy. Little quick rant here. <laughs> so, um, Grizzlies, baby. They beat the Lakers this weekend. Surprise, surprise. But um, who is surprised that Matt Hardy didn't resign with WWE? I mean, they were slowing him out anyway. They really didn't just do much with the magic they had of the broken universe. I mean, I understood at first it was legal issues with between Matt Hardy and Impact Wrestling and that owl, <laughs> you know. And but then when he got the rights to the character, they didn't capitalize on. It. They went with this whole woken stuff. You know what I mean? You know, it was plenty of ways they could have spent that walking into the broken universe. And and I just knew that Duddy was not going to do it right. It was going to be all polished and WWE fied. You know, it wasn't broken and pure, you know, like it was when he was on Impact doing it and on YouTube. You know, it was. And everybody waiting on the Brother Nero thing. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, right, Jeff Hardy. Just let it go, bro. You need to get back to whatever you was at. I mean, you drink like you do. Because build a ease, you just lose yourself. You work so hard, Jeff, to get yourself together. But this is about Matt. I knew he wasn't going to resign, and I'm glad he didn't. I'm glad he's doing the free agent thing, you know what I mean? And really just get his thoughts together. This will get him, to me, this will get him time to get his thoughts together. Let him refocus. A little extra time spending with his... His family, you know, he just had a son maybe like a couple months ago. His three boys, so that's another generation of Hardys right there. King Maxwell, Wolfie, and the new ones. I think they started to be, I can't remember. Kind of hard to me to say. So anyway, but then, you know, he can travel, you know, maybe do some matches in New Japan, Ring of Honor, uh, AW. You know, Matt can do so many things at this broken Matt Hardy thing, you know. He owned it right. So he can go anywhere with the broken hearty thing. So I'm, I'm glad he didn't. You know, in, in his career, he can always go into the Hall of Fame. Cool. Because Matt Hardy had a lot of great gimmicks. To me, people love Jeff. Jeff is more fun in the ring and more of a daredevil. But overall, to me, Matt was better. Because he had so many great gimmicks. He, he was like Cody Rhodes. He had so many different great gimmicks. He was good with it. Matt Hardy version one. Mattitude, all that big money, Matt, and then the broken Matt Hardy. It, it, he was, you know, he just he was just so creative, and I feel like he was really the creative driving force, you know, behind the Hardy Boys. And you know, Edge and Christian talk about it on the Stone Cold podcast, and they do TLC matches. Matt was really one of the guys who came over stuff, you know. Edge and Christian was too, and Bubba was, and Matt was. So I'm glad he did, man. Just give him time to do a lot, more, get more creativity out of his system. You know, he get a little more free reign in other promotions than he doing the other far as moves and matches and doing things. Get it out of his system before he do hang up the boots. So I'm glad for that. But um, AW, <laughs> they're making some big moves lately with some of the wrestlers they're signing. You know, some of them are, you know, with New Japan, which is cool. Um, let's see, Jeff Cobb, Lance Archer, and now Colt Cabana. So it's it's you I'm seeing what's going on here. I'm looking past the little sign, the signings they're doing. Like I see a relationship building between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling. I do. And it's great because, you know, the main wrestlers in AEW, you know, the elite, they're familiar with them, New Japan. So this could work out, man, because New Japan is on the rise. I like New Japan. They just need to you know do more in America and get an actual TV channel over in America where more wrestling fans can see how good their matches are. And they really will be a big competition for WWE. You know, so it'd be a big relationship. This relationship could work out, and it could bring so much talent into AEW who, you know, is building their fan base. I mean, with TNT, especially with this new contract, you know, they signed with TNT. So, mm. and I feel like this is just, you know, bridging the gap and, you know, making things better with that relationship between AEW and New Japan. Oh, man. So, oh, man. Speaking of, you know, like bridging the gap and talent and 
across the world, two cases of the corona coronavirus. Um, it's it's been detected in the location area for WrestleMania thirty six. You know, I talked about how they WWE had to speak about how you know. If they had to cancel WrestleMania 36 because of this, and now it's getting a little close to their location. It's like, man, that would really suck if WrestleMania to get canceled. You know, WWE don't always have a good thing going, but WrestleMania is it's a big event, man. I love WrestleMania, regardless of you know how the matches go, whatever. It's it's. So many great memories when you think about WrestleMania. WrestleMania is a big part of wrestling fans' lives, you know. It's the Super Bowl of wrestling. People even call it the Super Bowl the WrestleMania of football, you know what I mean? This is a big thing. This is like the World Series Super Bowl, and I would hate for it to be canceled. But I understand you got to put people's health first. Health and safety first before, you know, making money. You know, so, oh, man. They would, they would suck, you know. Man, that would be suck. I would hate for them to cancel, maybe postpone, but still. Mm. But I just pray that they get a grip on all this, where, you know, not just for WrestleMania, but for everyone's health sake, really. Because this, this just sucks, man. So, take away from this, um, this video. Glad Matt Hart didn't re sign with LD, even though he could have signed NXT. He's still probably been a little restricted. So I'm glad Matt Hardy free agent get to do his thing in the wrestling world. Big ups to AEW for the signings they've been doing here, you know, with Jeff Cobb, then Lance Archer, and, and Cole Cabana. Cole Cabana's been around for a while, but he he's, you know, a veteran. He can help a lot of these young guys out. And, you know, that's like I said, it's bridging the gap between, you know, business between AEW and New Japan and, you know, this, and the coronavirus thing and WrestleMania may not happen because – Two cases been detected in the area of Tampa Bay, Florida, where WrestleMania 36 is supposed to be. So, you know, um, you know, I try my best to keep you guys posted, you know. WrestleMania is season, is here. Hey, there's the banner. Wrestling Rants 901. It's your main man, Kel Breezy, man. Follow us on YouTube, guys. Subscribe. Share the wealth with people. Uh, Facebook, Wrestling Rants 901. Instagram, 901 Wrestling Rants, man. Share the wealth. You know, this is just a little rant video I do. I'm trying to do more of these instead of just constantly, you know, like I said, not just talk about the TV shows and stuff, other things, you know, to keep you guys updated and posted. As many as possible. From my phone or from the camera. Maybe from my webcam and go live and do it. Who knows? But anyway, it's your main man, Kel Breezy. I'm out.